Proud of the team tonight. Total team win. Looked like a basketball team tonight for 40 minutes. Really proud of everything that we did. Don't want to say anything negative about tonight because we scored the most points of the season, I think 72. We had 22 assists. We out rebounded in about eight, and we shot the ball well from behind the three-point line and free throw line. So I'm 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 happy. Christian. Coach, I wanted to ask about the differences in the offense between the first and second half. In the first half, it looked like there was a lot more cutter action, more backdoor screens and guys diving at the basket. And then in the second half, it looked more like that line offense. Was the first half a variation of the line? Was that new stuff? What were those differences in tonight's game? Well, we're mixing it up now because, you know, we had three weeks off. You know, for us to have that, that quick fix, we went to Lion because we felt like that was going to get us closer to the basket. But over the three weeks, we've added a couple more offenses called cutters. And then we've added an offense called motion. And that motion, you know, when a team is, is – is, if we're stagnant, then we'll go to motion. If we want to get a good back door or a good look or a post up, we'll go to cutters. And the same thing with Lions. So we kind of have to have one where we open the floor up and we have to have one where we want to get the ball inside. So in the second half, we opened it up with DeAndre Williams going in our – kind of our cutter set and playing a two-man game with Musa Cisse and just facing the floor. So – First half, it was more cutters and kind of the, uh, the line set. And then the second half, it was more um, of the motion and uh, playing a two-man game with Musa and, uh, and DeAndre. Christian, you had a follow-up? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Coach? I can hear you, yes. Yeah, yeah. follow up to that. Uh, we've talked about uh, shortening the rotation a lot over the past several games. And in the first, I think, five or six minutes, you played nine to ten guys. Second half, first maybe eight to ten minutes, it was the same five on the floor. Is that something that we should expect? I know you've talked about shortening the rotation before. What are your thoughts on that moving forward? Yeah, in the first half, we just got stagnant with that first group. So I had to sub other guys to see what they had just to get some, some motion and, and some different bodies on the floor. And it worked for us in the second half. I think we found our rhythm and you stick with the team that has the rhythm. We never could get a rhythm in the first half of one unit. Jason. Hey, Penny, that stretch in the second to start the second half when it, it, it was like nothing could go wrong. Um, is that how you felt like that kind of just that, that nothing, nothing could go, you know, cause it was like you guys scored points I think on 11 of your first 12 possessions in the uh, to start the second half and you go on like a 23-13 run and it just seemed like uh, I just wanted to know like how you felt in the moment as that was going on. No I felt really good because it's been a long time coming you gotta understand we've been doing this forever and actually we were looking this good before we went to South Dakota and then DeAndre who was a big part of it as you saw tonight because he had he gets the ball in his hands and he's a mismatch for a big he kind of created a lot for our team, like he did at the end of the game when we went to Tulsa. We had that momentum going, and then all of a sudden he couldn't play. We thought he was going to be eligible, and then we had to go to an, another route. So for seven games in a row, we struggled. Then he comes back for four games, and then we struggled. And then all of a sudden tonight, I started seeing what I saw a long time ago before we went to South Dakota, and it felt good because I know we've always had this firepower, and we still didn't have everybody show up the way that they can and they're capable of. But during that stretch, it was it was more of an exhale, like, man, finally, we, the boys got a chance to see the fruits of their labor. They, they've they been working so hard in practice to be able to get to this point, and tonight was great. Quick follow-up, kind of along that same line of thinking. It was not that long before that stretch where you kind of walked off. I watched you walk off the court at halftime, and it looked like you were pretty upset. Um, so what – were you upset and what upset you? And then just kind of putting that in perspective that, that you had just walked off the floor in, in kind of a huff and then, and then to come out at halftime in the second half and, and uh, play as well as you guys did. Well, it just seemed like the same old story to me, you know, that's been happening over the last few games that we couldn't get out of that rut. We missed layups. You know, we missed small jump shots. We weren't making our threes the way, you know, that, that I know we could. And it just seemed like they just hung around when we should have been up 20 in my mind. That was the type of half that I thought we should have had. 
and we didn't. And I went into the halftime just upset because everything is always no disrespect to the other team. When we watch film, it's been self-inflicting wounds. You can't continue to do that to yourself every game. And then in the second half, it opened up. Danielle? You mentioned the two-man game with DeAndre and Musa, And with Musa specifically, how were you able to, to get him not only open, but to have the confidence to finish the way that he was at the rim? Well, we've been working on that with Musa. You know, he didn't look like at the first half. He was a little down. And, you know, sometimes it's just nerves. But in the second half, what was happening was DeAndre was just making great moves. The guards were getting downhill and making great moves. And now we're starting to tell them to look for him. Those are the plays that we wanted them to make for him all season that we missed. Tonight, we looked for them and we, we, we accomplished them. And we ended up getting 22 assists. So this shows them, you play the game the right way and you look for your bigs and play an inside, outside game, then everything starts to open up and then you shoot the ball outside better and you shoot the ball inside the paint better. Mike? Penny, you start a stretch on Sunday of like five games in 11 days. First, the momentum of this win, but then talk about having to play all these games in a short period of time because of losing those three games over these last few weeks. It's going to be a tough stretch for your guys. Yeah, it's going to be a tough stretch, but we're ready for it. You know, we were off three weeks, so without having any games, we needed that, that time off to get better, and we got better. But to have a stretch of games, I like that because the momentum right now from tonight's game is going to carry us into the other games. Now, every game is different. I understand that. But now we know that we can do it. We haven't seen it all year until tonight. And that was in the second half. So I'm confident going into these other games, man. We we came into this year, 2021, saying we we're going to win every game. We lost a tough one at, at Tulsa, but we have to keep that mindset. We have to keep the mindset, and we got to get out of our own way. And I, I feel like we can do that. Following that up, you know, did you need a game like this or really a second half like this to, to make, maybe have that statement for your team that we can make a run? I mean, you had a Wichita State team that came in winning seven of eight and they, you took them out of it the entire game long. Is this maybe one of those games that can, you know, kind of steamroll for you guys where you can get on a run now? Absolutely, because they're a team that's beat Houston already in our league. And they're – yeah, that was at Wichita. No, it might have been at – I'm sorry, that might have been at uh, Tulsa, sorry. But they're one of the top teams in our league. And it's the case of understanding what you're doing when you're playing against these guys and you can carry it over to the next game. So playing against a really good team – that's one of the top teams in our conference that's been winning, like you said, one seven out of eight. And to beat them handedly in our building, it shows our guys, man, we can compete with anybody. We can. Tulsa's beat Houston, and they won some big games. Even though Houston just had a revenge game that was really, really strong, they've been beaten by Tulsa. So we understand who we are. We just got to keep playing hard and, man, get out of our own way, protect the ball. We protected the ball tonight as well in the second half. Only had four turnovers, and the game opened up. Terry? Hey, what's up, Coach? What's going on, Terry? Hey, man, when you, you guys opened up a 16-point lead, and I think they cut it down to nine, what do you say to your guys, or what do you see from your guys, instead of letting them let them back into it, they just ran it back out? Well, we went back to what was working. You know, we went back to the two-man game. Instead of anybody just coming down and taking ill-advised shots, then we, we just went back to what was working and got down into the paint and made good decisions. We told, these, we told the guys out the half, don't try to go with the home run play. Make sure that the play is there. And even though we made a couple hiccups, we got back to that when they when they pulled it to within nine. And then on the defensive end, we started paying attention to detail. We we just got better uh, and pushed the lead back out. Two more, Jason. Any update on uh, DeAndre and what happened to him? He got elbowed by Musa, an accidental elbow. He's okay though. I think it uh, blooded his nose. But I don't think it's a concussion or anything like that. I think he's okay. Nothing broken or anything? No, not, not that I know of. Okay. Last question, Clayton. Hey, Benny, just, um, you know, not only to be playing in front of fans, but to be playing back home, how refreshing is this? And, and how much was that probably needed for your guys, um, you know, through the up and ups and downs to be able to get back in front of the home crowd? Yeah, it's a beautiful sight when we come out and there's fans in the stands. Even if there's just a few fans, it's good to see fans in the stands. We understand what's been happening all year, been in a pandemic and not being able to have fans all the time. It's tough to try to get your own energy. Your team has to stay together. Everybody has to root for one another. And that's the way you get through it. But to actually have fans in the stands was great to see tonight. And uh, just one quick follow-up. Uh, you know, has, has Jordan uh, cleared COVID protocol now? He has to get three negative tests. Right now he has one, one negative test. I think he gets another one tomorrow. 
and then maybe another one next week. I'm not sure on the time, but he needs two more. 